In this installment, we're going to be going over the NBA playoff bets late for Friday, May 10th. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Chef D, and I'm here to bring you the winning ingredients for our May 10th NBA playoff bet slate we got going on. Uh, but before we do dive into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MetsNutsJets D. Don't forget about the TikTok at Chef underscore D91. And don't forget about that Patreon um, at right now at the home of the youtube page currently at 4.99 thousand subscribers uh goal is 10k so continue to show that love and support that you guys have been doing we're almost there at the 5k threshold which i've been asking you guys for the call to action let's push over that number there and be on our way to 10k if you're not subscribed go ahead join the community that um, we're building right now on YouTube and on Patreon and click that subscribe button. Guys that are already subscribed, continue to do what you're doing. Like and comment. That helps the YouTube algorithm. All right. If you guys want to sign up for the premium picks, uh, sign up to that link provided down below for Patreon. All right. That's for help. That's for the daily picks. That's for futures. Everything is locked and loaded in there. We got some other great guys in there and girls um, that are willing to help. And definitely you can bounce off ideas it's, it's just a great a great environment all right link down below before we deep dive into the slate want to go over yesterday's plays we were one for two uh celtics did the same old celtic stuff they still have not i don't think they're ready they i don't think they're ready here but they, they didn't come through for us yet again not only did they lose they didn't they lost by 20 to the Cleveland Cavaliers. They did not show up at all. Same thing's happening um, that happened in that Miami Heat series. We'll see if they'll give up another game to Cleveland, but definitely, definitely watch out for the Boston Celtics. Nowhere near trustworthy. Uh, but the Mavericks, Mavericks came through for us. Uh, I told you how those guys play. I told you how the Mavericks play. They usually lose game one. And then Jason Kidd, this is a veteran team here telling you right now it's a veteran team here they know what to do in these situations and the thunder do not thunder do not we'll see what happens how they respond after their first loss but let's get into this late here looking at the current odds between the knicks and the pacers uh pacers at home on the money line minus 300 with the comeback of the new york knicks at a minus 240 point spread at a six and a half on both sides total at 222 and a half uh, for the public bet percentage, 83% of the bets um, on the Pacers, but 57% of the money on the New York Knicks. So just looking at that right there, that should ring some alarm bells, all right? Point spread, 65% of the bets, 59% of the money on the Knicks that covered at 6.5. For the total points, 95% of the bets, 96% of the money well on the over 222.5, all right? For the injury report here, Jalen Brunson is questionable, and OG and Anunoby is out. So this is why this the spread looks like that. It's ballooned up to six and a half. It might be seven in some places uh, because of the loss of OG and Anunoby. They've been phenomenal playing with him, um, and now he's going to be out one of their main defenders as well, Pascal Siakam. All right, um, for the Indianapolis Pacers, Tyrese Halliburton, he's going to be questionable. He's most likely going to play. They're just putting him on the, the injury report with his issue that he's had for the last past like four games. Okay, so. In game number two, um, just craziness. It was an absolute circus there. You had the Knicks start out strong. Then they lose the lead in the second quarter with Jalen Brunson going towards the injury. They're down by 10 at halftime. Everyone's all over the Pacers. And then Jalen Brunson comes back. I warned everybody about they're doing the Willis Reed thing. He came back at, after halftime. New York Knicks go on a run and they outright win the game and win by nine. They cover the spread at four and a half. The public was on the Pacers in that game and that spread with the four and a half. All right. And they outright lost and the Knicks covered the spread. So in this particular game here, looking at this money line at that public bet percentage, that scares me a lot. All right. I'm telling you right now, the value is on the Knicks. Take the six and a half points. All right. When you see 83% of the public, but 57% of the money, this is the sharp money here, right here. The sharps are coming in heavy on the New York Knicks. 
This is a better coach team. This is a team that just gives out all out effort. It doesn't matter who's in or out. The only one that really matters is Jalen Brunson, but he's going to play. So I'm telling you the values on the Knicks in this particular game here. This is not good movement. When you see that, that should ring alarm bells. Give me the plus six and a half for the Knicks and give me the over 222 and a half. Last but not least, we have the Denver Nuggets going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves here. Looking at the current odds, the Timberwolves are the home favorites here. They took both games from the Denver Nuggets in Denver. Now we're switching over to Minnesota here. Timberwolves minus 185 on the money line with the comeback of the Denver Nuggets at a plus 150. The point spread at a four and a half. Total points at 204 and a half. Uh, for the public bet percentage, we have similar line movement here. This should ring alarm bells. 79% uh, of the bets, but 57% of the money on the Denver side. So bets in public on the Minnesota Timberwolves, but the sharp money coming in um, on the Denver, on the money line. And for the point spread, 79% of the bets, 82% of the money here on the Timberwolves to cover that four and a half total. 90% uh, of the bets, 92% of the money on the over 204 and a half. For the injury report, um, all these guys are questionable, but I do expect them to play. Jo Jamal Murray, Reggie Jackson, and Contavious Caldwell-Pope, all questionable, um, and they should play. Just stay tuned to that news. I provide that link down below so you can uh, stay up to date on who's in or out, all right, before these games start, okay? For the, Tim for the Timberwolves, no injuries of concern, and Rudy Gobert should be back in this game here for game number three, all right? So Denver Nuggets, they just, it's just been the same issue. Even without Rudy Gobert, um, Nas Reed, um, uh, Carl Anthony Towns, they came up big yet again, and they just clearly outplayed the Denver Nuggets. It was more mostly the refs. If you watch how that game was refed, they were allowing the Minnesota Timberwolves to, to be very, very aggressive. Um, and it took Denver Nuggets out of the flow. It was just a bad, bad sight to see there in game two. Denver Nuggets lost by 26 points. And now you got the Minnesota Timberwolves again in game three as a four and a half point favorite. But the line movement is telling me something else. All right. This is a championship team here in the Denver Nuggets. I do expect them to respond. Um, and that, that the best value on the board is that four and a half. All right. Uh, we got Denver MVP Nikola Jokic just got another award. He's going to be highly motivated for this spot. I do not think they go down uh, 3-0. Okay, I do not think they go out 3-0 here. I do expect them to fight back. Love the point spread at four and a half. If you want to take that money line, go ahead. The sharps are. They're taking that plus 150. But I'm going to post that four and a half. And for the total, this is just, I don't know why it's at 204. I think both of these teams score. Um, 204 is a very, very low number. Um, so give me the over 204 and a half. All right. So those are going to be our selections for Friday. Watch out this, the way this is moving around with, with these lines, it's kind of like they set people up, man. So I'm going to be on the Knicks. Like I said, give me the points with the Knicks as you can get a seven, get a seven and a half if you can. And give me the Denver Nuggets. Give me those points. All right. Both of these road teams are tried and true and tested here. Um, I'm going to be going with those teams, those veterans in these spots in game in, in game threes. OK, so we're going to be rocking with both road teams here. Let me know in that comment section down below if you agree, do you disagree. Do you have any props that you want to talk about? Let me know. We can definitely debate about that in that comment section down below and guys if you want the premium plays you sign up for that patreon link down below as well and i'll be back with another video very soon all right peace out